guys. Today I'm going to go through installing a cool new product. This is a very important safety feature and it really doesn't detract from the looks of the bike much or at all depending on what you order. These are reflective stickers and what should be in here are stickers that go on the back of my saddlebags. These are from Real Time Industries. You can get them direct, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay and various other sources so you can google for that and get them from wherever you want maybe you have a discount code going on i found them cheapest direct from real-time industries i got these for just over 20 bucks shipped and i'm going to do some before and afters also the idea behind these are they're clear in daylight but when hit with direct light at night they glow bright they have a couple different colors available. They have white and they have red. They also have them with printed graphics on them. I am not a fan of the graphics, so I got the plain ones. So these should just be completely transparent during the day, which is what I want because I don't want to detract from the looks of the bike, but really bright from behind at night. So we've got a letter in here and just thanking us basically in basic install instructions. The decals should apply nicely by following these simple guidelines. The material can be installed dry or wet. Okay, that's good. That means they go on basically like vinyl decals or stripes on a car. That's easy enough. Usually placed on non-painted surfaces, and that's correct. These are going to go on the plastic, the black plastic on the back surfaces of my bags. Do, 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 do. must be installed dry as fluid will keep the decal from sticking to anything but a glass smooth surface blah 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 blah, blah. 50 50 yep, yep okay standard stuff for installing decals and vinyl not going to go through all this all right so basically go through a normal vinyl install procedure so i'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll see how they look okay here we've got where this is going to be installed here are the strips. Basically, they're like little three-dimensional reflectors. Let me see if I can demonstrate it real quick here for you. Off-axis light, they appear black. So pretty much the same black as the stock plastic. On-axis light, they appear white. So let's see here. Let me... It's going to be a little easier if I use the light on the camera. So let me turn that on. Okay, so now I've got the LED on the camera turned on. So the light is directly in line with the camera lens. And you can see the effect. It lights up. I mean, it looks luminescent. It looks white. But it's not. It's just black. So this is what it'll look like to anybody driving behind me because the headlights from the vehicle are going to be in line with the person's eyes. So you get these bright white reflective lights for free. <laughs> and when there isn't a driver directly behind you, they look like this. Let me turn the LED off again. Simple as that. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, right? Now they also have them where they will glow red if you prefer that. I want the white, so I got that. Now these are blank. Like I said, they do offer them with designs. They have an outline of the Yamaha logo and FJR and that kind of stuff. And they also have these graphics that go on the side of the bike if you want that kind of thing, like stripes and other kinds of decals and designs. But I'm just doing these. And basically all you have to do is it's just a sticker. So we're going to line it up here, figure out exactly where to put it. We have a notch here and a little bit of an indent, and that goes here because there's a tiny little bit of a indent in this corner. It's hard to see, but you can feel it. I didn't even know it was there until I was looking for the here. And then this is slightly scalloped here to go around the taillight, so that's what this here is. Now they do say you can do the wet or dry application method but they do only suggest using the wet on glass smooth surfaces, meaning painted metal or the plastic panels. This isn't glass smooth. This has a texture to it. So I'm going to put this on dry. Now the only thing we have to do is 
make sure that this is thoroughly cleaned. To prep the surface, they recommend soap and water. I'd already cleaned it. I'm just going to give it a rinse down here. Make sure there's no dust or anything. You don't want that getting underneath. Yeah, pretty clean. Now I'm going to dry it. Make sure you're using a lint-free cloth. In this case, these are new little shop towels I bought. I just shook it out. All right, now we're ready for the decal. Now when doing it dry, it's pretty much a one-shot deal. You can peel it off as long as it's not fully stuck down, but you do want to get it right on your first shot. I'm going to peel away the backing paper here carefully. It's kind of tough without fingernails. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take it completely off the backing paper. Being careful not to crimp an edge. I'm going to start it and align it in the middle. I'm going to grab it at the top and bottom. I'm going to align this with that center seam first. I'm going to put the bottom side as soon as I get it in place. I'm aligning this edge first to make sure it's going on straight because so I'll have a little bit of wiggle room here. That looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm just going to tack this down in the corner to the top here. See how we're looking? Nice and straight. That looks good. Okay, now we just want to make sure that it goes down without wrinkles and air pockets. Just slide your hand over it gently all the way to the edges. Do the same with the bottom. Let your hand that you're sliding push it down and do it real gentle until you're completely ready. Go down to all the edges. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles before you put any pressure on it. Alright, now I'm going to start from the middle here. Work my way to the outside edges. Just firm but even pressure. You're not trying to rip it or anything, you're just trying to make sure the adhesive is sticking completely and make sure you never come the other way against the edges. You always want to go away from the edges because it'll tend to roll up, especially when it's fresh like this. This is 3M adhesive, so it's going to be very, very weather tight. little bit of an air pocket in here. I'm going to work it out real quick. Just work it down with your finger. It's not like a permanent glue or anything, so it does give you time to do that. Even dry, as you can see. Alright, that is 99% good. Just a little tiny bit that way, but you know what? You can't see it unless you're looking for it. These blend right in with the back of the bags. Beautiful. And there we go. So that's one on. I've got one on the other side, and then they also give strips here if you would like to do this section and I am actually electing not. I'm gonna leave that stock. I think this huge area here is good enough. That's it. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll give you a demo of what it looks like completed. 
there we go. Both are applied. You can see they look black. They look just as stock as anything. But when you get direct light, I've got my external light here. So I'm going to bring it in line with the camera as I get closer to the lens. Boom. Off axis light, on axis light. Pretty freaking dramatic, eh? Not bad for 20 bucks. That is a hell of a safety feature, let me tell you. Car behind you, car not behind you. Car behind you, car not behind you. That is a no brainer, man. That fills both needs for me. Safety, always good, and really nice aesthetics. I hate the look of a lot of add-on reflectors and stuff, but this, you can't see it. Win-win. There you go, guys. Hope that helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies. We'll see you next time.